you have quite the academic history, quite the research history. What drew you back to Vito in Saskatoon? I think part of the reason is I did my PhD here at the UFS. And part of my PhD was also here at Vito using the high containment facilities. So when I was in, at McMaster and University of Toronto doing my postdoc, COVID broke. And that really realized, or I realized how important it is to have a facility like Vito, especially if you want to work with high containment pathogens. And my research program is looking at emerging viruses in animal hosts and human hosts as well, mostly zoonotic pathogens. And I think this is the best place, certainly in Canada, and definitely one of the top in the planet uh, to do emerging pathogens. You couldn't have known in 2018 when you were finishing your PhD studying coronaviruses and bats what was going to happen in the world and how important that research would become. What have you learned over the last two years through what you knew before this even happened? I think one thing we knew for certain was there are coronaviruses in wildlife reservoirs, especially bats, that could make their jump into humans. And we've, kn we've known this for over a decade before COVID-19. What we now know is viruses are extremely unpredictable. And humans, our scientists, are extremely unprepared in terms of dealing with these viruses. And hopefully what we are trying to do with my colleagues here at Vido is change that moving on. We want to be prepared for the next one. This new facility is opening up. How will this aid your research and what are you hoping that you'll be able to achieve with it? So Vido is going to be Canada's Centre for Pandemic Research. And part of that process is hiring some of the best scientists globally. Like I moved from Ontario, I've got colleagues who moved from Switzerland, there are colleagues coming from in Europe. So I think what's going to be important is bringing in all the talent and using the facility to its full potential, including the large animal facility we've got. So Vito is moving towards fundamental discoveries on the bench, translating that into animal models, so doing a vaccine trials, and then bottling it for human trials all in the same facility. I can't name of any other place in Canada where my research program could do that. What will this kind of opportunity do to draw other brilliant scientists to Saskatchewan? That's a very good question. So if you look at my team, for example, my postdoctoral fellow in my lab is a PhD trained from McMaster University. The PhD student in my lab, has, she did a master's degree in Scotland. So we're already attracting students, some of the brightest students from across the planet. And that's all because of what we have here at Vido. The facility we've got, the infrastructure we've got, and what we're going to have in the next five years is essentially what drew me and my research program and my trainees to Vido. What will the expanded capacity do to help your research? I think one thing we are looking at are animal colonies. So we study bats and we're going to have bat colonies moving on. We want to study why bats shed these viruses, what's causing stressors in bats, and what's causing them to shed pathogens that's now spilling over into mammals such as humans. And certainly the big animal model or the animal colonies is a huge pull for me. What are you most looking forward to once this is open and everything is in production mode? Science, science, science. We'll, we'll take our science and we'll translate it to directly impact humans, not just in Saskatchewan, not just Canadians, but global population as well.